passes definitely. And a golf ball. Oh, about 30 golf balls. What depth? Um, they vary from 30 centimetres to 3 metres. Nah, fresh water, like it's above the salt water wedge. So they're yeah. in the fresh. In the fresh, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Hasn't spawned as yet by no, the looks of it. But not far away. So what do you want us to do? Man? Well, I think we'll do like a three person sweep because what yeah. I've been doing is zigzags. So I'll just give you a brief rundown on um, the events over the last couple of days. So I was duty officer um, last night, I think it was the 16th of May, um, and I was just wandering down by the Tidal River Bridge and happened to notice uh, a couple of these fellas in the water. Um, so I managed to scoop two of them out, and there was a third one that I was not unable to get due to the depth. Um, and I knew pretty much straight away that we were in a fair bit of strife. Um, so the Northern Pacific Sea Star had arrived in Tidal River. Um, so I made the initial calls to the Chief Ranger and Stephen Howe and Mark Rodrigue just to um, confirm the ID and that they would notify DSE as the control agency, which was happened last night. Um, as of today, um, Thursday, we, um, after initial discussions in Melbourne with DSE, we set up an IMT at, at Tidal River. Um, with me the, as the incident controller and primarily the local staff to fill the ops roles. Um, some planning was done from Melbourne and a liaison person, Phil Pegler, was set up to um, talk between DC and PV. Um, so we also got in some assistance from Roger Fenwick and John O. Stevenson for some um, snorkel dive surveys of the river and estuary itself. Um, as a result of, of those couple of dives, we've probably turned up around 50 sea stars, um, a variety of age classes or sizes from you know six inch species uh, specimens right down to you know 20 50 cent um, coin size. Um, so obviously we'll um, we also did some um, beach um, census today and the rock pool um, rambles by local staff so that included um, squeaky whiskey picnic so beaches to the north we just finished um, a snorkel swim along the northern side of Norman Bay here just to ensure that there were no animals that had been washed out of the estuary and taken hold. We also got another crew down at Oberon Bay um, where there's a similar estuary, although it's not as um, heavily used, it's growlers, it's similar sediment, similar runoff, so um, we wanted to go and check that, which we've done. Um, and we'll, we'll ramp it up over the next couple of days. We'll continue to do some dive surveys in the river and collect any animals that we happen to see um, and then we, we may look at next week getting some, um, some further diving assistance to do some further sweeps of the river as well as looking at I suppose some, some further afield sites that may have been impacted on by this latest infestation things like Shallow Inlet, Corner Inlet, Sealers Cove, uh, Refuge Cove, places where we're getting a lot of boating activity um, and you know we may well have these species here but we um, haven't located them yet.